Google has released their own chatbot called Gemini Advance. So in today's video, we're going to see everything we need to know and understand when leveraging this new AI model. Let's understand the pricing associated with Gemini Advanced, get a full understanding of all the different features we can enable within Gemini Advance, and a lot more. Let's see if Gemini Advance is any good. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're just going to see everything we need to know about Gemini Advance, its features, its capabilities. If you're a brand new user, this is going to be the perfect video for you. Only other announcement I have is that we have rebranded the software we're creating here from TubeStamp to bump ups. You need a bump up. This is huge, y'all. I'm super excited. There's a ton more stuff going on there, so I'll probably make some more videos about that later this week. Let's go and jump into today's video. I'm going to leave the link to this down in the description down below. This is going to give you the ability to try it for two months for completely free, and then you're going to get put on a plan for $20 a month. As we've seen in the industry, it seems like all these language models and AI chatbots are 20 USD a month. So it really does come down to discretion of which one you want to leverage and choose. You can check out that video where I go over in depth why you would choose a specific model for your specific context. We are provided with a couple of advantages with Gemini Advance. I think one of the biggest advantages here is the ability to integrate with Gmail and Docs. If you're familiar with Microsoft Copilot, it integrated with the entire 365 system. This is Google's version of that, right? So we're able to integrate with Gmail Docs. Plus somehow Google is just going out of the way to give us an additional two terabytes of storage. Long-term, this is definitely gonna be more integrated into G uh, Google's ecosystem with presentations and Google Sheets and everything of that nature. So if you already are an active Google user, that's probably why you're watching this video and we can go ahead and learn what it can do up to this point. Once you sign up with that link in the description down below, you'll notice there'll be like a nice little like circle thing around your profile image. So keep that in mind that shows you're enabled to Gemini Advance. You'll be able to select it up here by simply selecting Gemini Advance, and now you're in. This is Google's most advanced model, so let's see everything we can do. Now, before we start chatting with it, just to see what it can do in a chat-like interface, let's go in and make sure we have our settings enabled. So I'm going to go to settings here, extensions. This is probably one of the more powerful things about Gemini is its ability to integrate with Google products. We can do searches for Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, YouTube, and the last one here, which is probably the big one, and you need to enable this if you're a brand new account, which is Google Workspace. There is a playlist at the end here, so you can see how it leverages it in Drive, Docs, and Gmail if you want to see very specific videos on that. This video, though, all you need to do to enable this is simply hit the slider, and then it's good to go. Let's just go ahead and try one of these prompts real quick. We're going to say plan a visit. I'm going to change this prompt a little bit. I'm going to say March 22nd. Show me flights to visit my aunt in Madrid in the week of March 22nd, flying out of SFO. Hit enter. There we go. So you'll get a little prompt showcasing that it's currently accessing Google Flights. Then we get some good information here. Obviously, it's going to give a little bit of disclaimer like a lot of these language models do. We got a round trip from SFO from San Francisco to Madrid, from March 22nd to March 29th. And we can kind of proceed with further inquiries. Look at the user interface. This is pretty nice. We got good user interface when it comes to choosing flights. So obviously, if I click this, it'll bring me to Google Flights front end. This just shows you the power of where search is going when it comes to very specific context for flights. Just to show you the layering effect we can do here as well as we can say, can we get a hotel for these dates as well for one person? Well, right now we have identified that it's from March 22nd to the 29th. We're gonna use Google Hotels now to find hotels that are available within that area. Hotels in Madrid from March 22nd to March 29th, one adult. And we're leveraging Google's hotels back in now. All these different options. Out of all of these options, which hotel and flight is cheapest? I didn't spell cheap right. It should be fine. We are using both right now. It did the hotel and the flights. There we go. So notice how this is kind of more of like an advanced filtering in a way, but it's like a conversational filtering. And we can get the relevant information that we requested, which would be the cheapest one for $17 a night. And the cheapest flight being $908. It looks like we're sending Madrid. It will provide it at the very top of the user interface as well. Boom, 908 and 17 a night. Now we can also open up the sidebar here and simply click these three ellipses to pin chats. So let's say we're in a very active chat here. We can add an emoji. So we just add this little emoji. I'm gonna say flights, uh, flights, hit pin. And this will always be relevant for us to come back to if we're really getting down through a trained chat that is relevant for the kind of context and workload that we do. Furthermore, this does have the ability to generate images. We hit submit here and we can start using their image generation software. This is just super cool as a couple years ago <laughs> to do this kind of quality would not be possible. You'd have to pay a freelancer or a contractor, but we got our image of a futuristic car 
Let me know which one in the chat you would want to drive. I think out of these, I mean, I got to go with this one. This one, I like this one the best. We also have the ability to add images. So all you have to do is simply click upload image. I can say, what is this? If you can't tell, that is a dog, specifically a puppy. The image you sent me shows a golden retriever puppy sitting in a field of yellow flowers. And then just gives a lot of information. <laughs> a lot of information we didn't ask for, but there's another thing we can do with Gemini Vance. Coming over to Prompty More, there is a cool feature within Google that can double check itself. So I can say, what is the current trend for EV vehicles? I don't know. I went to a car show re recently in San Jose, saw the Cybertruck, and they also had the Tesla Centrius or what is it? The, the Tesla robot. I forgot. Centrium maybe. Crazy stuff. A lot smaller in person than I was expecting. But it is very much uncanny seeing it in person. So we have all this information about the current EV market here. What we can do, which is pretty cool, is with our outputs, we can leverage Google. Obviously, Google is <laughs> like a huge search engine. So we double check our responses here. And we should get little like green highlights of where the information is located. So if I scroll through here, I'm like, you know what? I don't trust this. Expand. Okay, so this comes from here. You can click it. And then it'll bring me to exactly where that data point was referenced. Also, a huge plus with using Gemini Advance is we don't get advertisements or random pop-ups for newsletters. A couple years from now, that might be different though. I could totally see ads being integrated within this chat feature. Seeing this, let's say out of all this information, we're like, okay, give me a summarization and thesis of the trend. We can go ahead and see its capabilities outside of this chat interface. We get all this information. We get a thesis. You know, I like that. I'm going to share and export it. I can either export to Docs or to Gmail. So if I wanted to export to Docs, I'm going to click this. It's going to do a little load thing here. And we should be able to click Open to Docs. And now we grab the information we had there and push it to Docs. On top of that, we can also, let's say we get into a very specific chat to set up a trip and travel somewhere. You know, I'm like, I got to email my, you know, my friends. I got to open Gmail real quick. Got all the information from that chat. And now we got the email that's been structured to send to your friends. Pretty cool. Furthermore, we can actually modify responses. So if you don't want to actually write it out and saying, giving it to it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, more professional, they have like, you know, nice little like cookie cutter ones. So I'm like, you know what? This needs to be way shorter. You're giving me way too much information. It will pre-fill a prompt for us and give us a shorter response than what we originally had. There we go. That just about covers everything we need to understand about Gemini Vance up to this point. It can do a lot more, but that should give you a good comprehension of which area to spend your 20 bucks and how you want to proceed in that manner. I think the most powerful feature with Gemini Advance is obviously its ability to integrate in our Google ecosystem. And that's probably only going to get better and better and better. We're going to get to the point, y'all, where we can just do slide decks within our presentations like it's nothing. What? Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to learn more about Gemini Advance, check out that playlist right there. I did a full video on Docs, full video on Gmail, and I assume probably in the future there'll be one on Sheets and also on Presentation. That's a random video. We don't know. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.